ourselves for the snow. Many students would normally be thinking, okay, maybe, just maybe, they'll get a snow day. But with most still learning remotely, snow days may be a thing of the past. Our Olivia Lavoie joins us now from Kirkland with what the districts are saying and how kids are reacting to the news, Olivia. Well, Aliana, the night before a projected snowfall can feel like the night before Christmas. But with so many kids already home for school, like everything during the pandemic, snow days are going to look a little different this year. It's a little piece of childhood magic, a rare and treasured event in western Washington, a snow day. The idea of having a snow day and playing in the snow brings so much joy to kids. Allison Paoli and her family cherish the few snow days they get in Gig Harbor every so often. So when she found out that her daughter's school district is still granting snow days despite distance learning. And hearing that, of course, made me giddy. A snow day today is more meaningful than a snow day last year. That's a sentiment daughter Stella can agree with. I'm really happy. After a year of anything but normal, she's dreaming of moments like these. I like running in the snow. Go skiing sometimes. I go love sledding down my neighbor's driveway. But not every kid will be so lucky. I'm actually surprised to hear that other districts are not following in the same footsteps. Numerous districts aren't planning on canceling school if it snows because, well, the weather won't impact a kid being able to access Zoom from home. Because of remote learning, basically the idea of snow days is almost a moot point now. Seattle Public Schools is one of the districts that recently sent out a memo explaining, quote, changes to school schedules because of winter weather will be limited and traditional snow day closures are unlikely. But some parents say the idea of their kid being inside on Zoom while it snows outside just doesn't feel right. I mean, snow here is like, it's a big deal. Stacey Jacobs says her children have been subjected to serious isolation away from friends, the classroom, and regular activities. So them being deprived of snow day doesn't sit well with her. So here it's kind of like a, it's like a special holiday. It's like the opportunity to make some fun memories with your family. It would be disappointing if they said that they had to go to school. <laughs> Jacob says her district hasn't said anything one way or the other, but if enough snow falls tonight or tomorrow night, I'm not going to sweat it. We're going to make snowmen and <laughs> whatever. So she says missing a day of classes doesn't compare to missing a day of pure childhood bliss especially when kids need it most. If we get snow, we're going to be outside. Now, today we heard from some educators that while traditional snow days may be a thing of the past, the new equivalent will be power outage days. In Kirkland, I'm Olivia LaVoice, Q13 News.